Welcome back to another review and thoughts on. This time, checking out the 2007 CGI uh, TMNT film. Uh, it came out in 2007. It's directed by Kevin Monroe. I believe he also wrote it. Uh, yeah, it was it was directed and written by him. Um, and it also voice acted by Chris Evans as Casey Jones, who I couldn't even recognize that was uh, Chris Evans. And then throughout the movie, I sort of could tell, oh yeah, it is him, it is Captain America. Sarah Michelle Gellar as April O'Neil, she was fine overall. Kevin Smith, Patrick Stewart, uh, Larry, Larry, uh, Larry, Lawrence Fishburne is also near uh, narrator in this, and then he's out of the movie. <laughs> I didn't understand that. Like, I guess he's setting the mood, and then you know, he's gonna. All right, we just need you to read off a few lines, and then you're free to go. Uh, why couldn't he have played like one of the the other uh, general or one of the other statue people? But whatever. Um, but yeah, it was, apparently this is loved by a lot of TMNT fans, and then also some that don't really care for it. Me, I, I don't mind the film. Uh, you know, watching it again, the animation's really good, I'll say that right off the bat. It's really well done. Uh, it's loosely connected to the original 90s, uh, to 90. Three trilogy uh, set of films. You know, I don't mind this being like its own thing, really. But I think there was a better a better movie in this somewhere in in here. Like, there's a better story it could have been told compared to what we got. I mean, turtles having grown apart after their final defeat of their arch enemy the shredder uh but are set to reunite and overcome their faults to save the world as an evil ancient as evil ancient creatures threaten it um i mean this guy named winners who you find out he's a immortal living guy from 3000 years ago who had a bunch of jet four, I believe, four generals who were turned to stone, and pretty much he's not really a villain if you think about it. He's technically like a good guy in a way because he's he's actually trying to break the the uh, um, curse, the immortal curse, and pretty much it's this the uh, four generals that turn on him because they believe. They think he's uh, trying to betray them in a way. Because I guess they want to be immortal forever. And so they decide to get him out the way. The film tries to do this this uh, thing with R Raphael where he's, um, you know, a vigilante named uh, Night Watcher, which I actually don't mind. I like I like the the scenes with him and Casey when they're actually together and they're fighting crime together. I actually like those scenes. I like the scene where they're on the rooftop and they're, you know, Casey Jones. He's talking to Raph about problems with Leo coming back and all that. And I like the dialogue between the two. Um, also, I'm uh, let you guys know I'm doing a playthrough of the uh, TMNT. PS2 game on the channel, so that will be up in November sometime. Uh, so far, I have four parts done. I had three, and then I decided to do a fourth because I tr I tried to do. It, I would have had four parts before, but the problem was I rage quit quit because the the uh, the um platforming in that game is annoying and horrendous. So it led to a lot of deaths in the game, so you'll be seeing a lot of deaths, a lot of frustration. So yeah, be uh, looking forward to that. But uh, 
yeah, anyway, back to the movie. Uh, Monroe stated in terms of the storyline that ideas were floated as extreme as the turtles being in space, but eventually it just came back to New York City and the theme of family being fallen apart. When developing the screenplay, uh, Monroe wanted to take on a less light-hearted tone or less calabunga and place an emphasis on dark elements. I see some of that in here, but it's very little to me. It's not fleshed out or really emphasis enough on it. I think it should have been... I liked, I loved the fight between Leo and Raphael. I wish, you know, more of that rivalry was done in this. Because um, he, I guess he wanted to do like a more mature appeal to mature audiences. And, um, yeah, he had a very specific tone because the mixing that sort of action and comedy is very specific specific whatever uh, most people were just coming and wanting to make it too funny I think that version of the movie could do well do really well but but we wanted to do something where it sort of pushes the envelope I see that but again it's not it's like he wasn't really allowed to do but so much I love, I do like the designs of the turtles in this. I actually do like them. The humans, they're hit or, well, not really hit. They're fine for what they look like. Although, I think April needs to eat more because, like, her uh, character model looks very anorexic. <laughs> like, unhealthy. Like, how is she able to fight off all these Foot Clan members? Karai, I like. I wish... I really would have liked the film if it delved into, like, why couldn't, how come we couldn't get a movie with Karai, like, as the, one of the main villains, or something, like, she's what, supposed to be the Shredder's daughter, and they, they mention Shredder, but they don't really, uh, she's not really in this whole, a whole lot, like, she's doing the dirty work of winners, trying to capture these monsters for this thing that he wants. Uh, Cry was one of Monroe's favorite characters from the comics, and he was the one who really pushed for Cry to appear in the film. But again, she's not really used as much. Um, I do like her a little fight with uh, Leonardo. There's some history there a bit, you could say. But director Monroe says... The film exists in the same continuity as the other films, which was supposed to was, was supported by the Memento wall at the end of them. I mean, it made good, it made money. Uh, a budget of 13.5 million and oh no, that's the uh, what I be, wait, a CGI became a CGI film became a reality. For example, the first film made. A million dollars. Oh, never mind. That's that's not the budget of this film. The budget for this film is thirty four million, and it made ninety four, ninety five, point six million. So I guess it was uh, kind of decent. I guess it got. It seemed like it got good reviews. Overall, mixed reviews from critics, but it was a commercial su uh, success. It planned for sequels, but were canceled after Nickelodeon required or acquired the franchise in 2009, rebooting the series film uh, film series for 2014, which I did see those films. I have problems with. The, you know, 2014 one and the, what, 2016 one? Maybe I'll review those if anybody's interested in me uh, doing the whole film series, like the original 90s to the 2014. But yeah, this one I didn't 
hate. Um, but yeah, Leonardo's always been my favorite turtle. But I do wish we would have got more um, banter between the... I mean, there's banter, but... I don't like... I think we shouldn't have gone the whole... Uh, monsters coming into our dimension and the winners thing, you know, wanting to collect all these monsters to uplift this, uh, or lift this, uh, immortal curse thing, you know, I think it should have just focused on really the brothers, maybe a little bit of Karai as possibly a villain or a side villain. Or even maybe an anti-character, anti-hero, kind of for the Foot Clan. Um, the Night Watcher thing, I don't know where that would have fit if I were to write, made the movie. But I do like that. I don't like how Leo's are now allowed to go off on, uh, you know, away for a long time and... Well, you're supposed to be away for like a month or, or not a month, maybe like a few months or a year, I believe, or he decided to stay away for a year, and they, nobody even really was worried, I guess. <laughs> um, like, he's a, he gets sort of corrected for it, but then he gets a medal also, um, but, you know... Forbid Raphael actually do something that's in the same realm as what Leo's doing, and he gets in trouble. But, you know. <laughs> and I like Raphael. I actually do like him. Um, I Again, I like some of the scenes with him and Casey Jones on the roof. And when they're going out to fight crime. Um, The whole, there's a scene in this, a pretty comedy, uh, this was just for humor and comedy, pretty much, where Ra, uh, Raph is the Night Watcher, he goes out and tries to fight off this little tiny, uh, Jersey Devil, little gremlin monster, red gremlin monster thing, pretty much that's a, a, a silly scene, I would have cut that out, I mean, it, I could, I chuckled a bit at it, but, I could do without it. I would have liked it more serious stuff. I Again, I love the fight between Leo and Ra Raph, although it seems Leo was holding back, I believe. I do like the, re the, the realization of Raph went too far a bit where he almost did uh, stab uh, Leo and on his face or expression. I do like that, and he runs off. And then he hears his brother in, uh, cry for help, and he goes back, but it's too late. And you hear, you see Raph uh, scream. So I did like that. I do like the whole thing where they get ready to, you know, go to battle. I do like the suiting up scene, montage, or whatever. And then they go to Winter's building, and they fight off the Foot Clan, and... I do like the camera angles where the camera follows them and then it pans over to what Mike and Donnie are doing or Leo, or not Leo, but uh, Raph and even Splinter's getting a little bit of exercise. <laughs> even they let him do some uh, fighting, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I don't know. I would have liked another film, though. I wouldn't have minded another CGI film. Why not? A sequel to this, I wouldn't have minded. Uh, I would say get a different director and writer. Um, someone actually, you know, dare to try to go against the studio's notes. But what can you do, I guess? Um, I mean, overall, I didn't mind it. Uh, I think it's it's fine. Though I will say the 90s, the first uh, 90s film's the best out of all of them. I, do, I don't mind the second film. I, I hate the fact that those turtles don't use their weapons. Uh, 
Although when I was a kid, I didn't even notice that they didn't use their weapons, but of course now, and I don't know if it'll bother me still, or bother me, because <laughs> it never did bother me, so I'm saying still, but you know what I mean. The third one is uh, a lot of people hate. I never hated it, but it's just it's wasted potential. I mean, I don't really know where you can go with the turtles in terms of like how many movies you can really do with them. Um, you know, you know. Um, of course, there's a cartoon, 2000, what, 2003, 2005 cartoon, I believe. I don't mind that one. Uh, then you have Nickelodeon's uh, versions, which I saw like a few episodes. They're okay. But, again, none of them compare to the first 90s film. You just can't beat it. Um, but, yeah. This one, again, I don't mind. Uh, I do, I do wish would have got a sequel from this, but, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, uh, if you want more videos, uh, please. So, uh, yeah. Peace and love.